we joined this project. So guys, I'm going to start the recording so that we can get going and maybe let's start from that. And then we're going to provide the updates from the event from Kuala Lumpur and share all the exciting news that, uh, about, about all that stuff that we've learned whilst meeting with Ronald. So guys, Mateusz, over to you. You are the expert in, in that area. Okay. Hello, guys. Uh, listen, yeah, regarding the, regarding the, um, I want to cover the topic, how we differ from, uh, from other wallets, because that is the, the most important that we know. Uh, I already make training in uh, Kuala Lumpur. I'm going on Friday to record video about this, so everybody will understand 100% how does it work. So basically, how we differ from other wallets. Uh, in our, in, when you participate, when you move your money to uh, your crypto to our wallet, you decide to you decide basically to participate with Jarvis to earn zero about zero point three percent a day. So all the everybody who deposit crypto, they go into one basket. We call this Jarvis pool. In this Jarvis pool, the company is sending to the exchanges. At the moment, there is 32 exchanges and they're using about uh, 200 accounts, different accounts of different exchanges. What is very important, they're choosing only, only the uh, crypto exchanges uh, that have the insurance on the crypto. So it means, it means for example, if somebody hacked the uh, exchanges, they will be covered by the uh, insurance insurance uh, for these um, crypto exchanges. So this is very important. So that's where our deposits stay always and being, being traded on the exchanges. Only the, um, the earnings daily from the, from the trading and from arbitrage, only the earnings going to reserve pool of CTO. And the reserve pool, the more crypto is in the reserve pool of CTO, then that is making the price higher and higher and higher. This is very important. So for us, even somebody, let's say Paul decide tomorrow sell all the crypto and he will um, damage the price of, of CTO, let's say it will go to uh, 10 cents or 5 cents. Listen guys, you don't lose your deposits, okay? Because your deposits stay in the, in the other a pool, we call this Jarvis pool. This is very important that we've got our deposits sit, um, different uh, pool than the, we've got the C, uh, CTO pool. Very important. So I will draw this on my whiteboard in my office. I will be within two days in there. So I will draw so you will see exactly how does it work. Okay? So very important. If somebody damaged the price of CTO, you don't lose the deposits. This is, this is the most important, when, when I understood this about one month, one and a half month ago, then I feel very safe uh, with, this, with this company, and with, with this uh, business where we are now, okay? So wait until Friday, Friday afternoon, Polish time, I will update the, the video. Um, Arthur help us update on our, our channel, Diamond, uh, Diamond Team channel, and you can watch the video and it, you will be, Full, you will have full explanation about this. What's also very important, soon we won't be only depend on the trading uh, of the cryptocurrency that the price won't be only depend on this because soon we will have the ecosystem built uh, around this cryptocurrency. Arthur will cover some, some, parts of, uh, some parts of the ecosystem, but what is very important, wherever you spend your CTO, okay, with travel, with this, with this, with other things. Whatever company is earning in that deal, the earnings go into the reserve pool of CTO. So this is, this is something that is very inter interesting. That we will have a lot of stuff around the ecosystem in, uh, in Cloud Token. That's why the many factors will be making the price of our CTO up. So maybe Arthur, maybe you can cover some stuff what we will have in the in the ecosystem because because in my opinion, I've been here five years in the crypto crypto market. For me, only the coins that they have a lot of ecosystem built around the coins, a lot of ways where you can spend, where you can discount those cryptocurrencies. They are successful in the price. We can see uh, they vary up. You know. Yes. So create, maybe you can share some, some, 
interest, interesting news about, about this. So guys, Cloud Token, and you, we, you will hear this on every single probably interview or call event. Every single time when somebody speaks to Ronald, he's going to be highlighting that Cloud Token is a true utility token. You cannot purchase Cloud Token. You can only receive it as a reward. And Cloud Token is a crypto in, crypto out type of an ecosystem. So although we see an equivalent of the amount that you see um, inside of the cloud token in dollars, of course, all of the money that is inside of the cloud token is in a cryptocurrency, whether that's cloud token tokens or that's the cryptocurrency that you've, de that you've developed, that you've, deposit that you've deposited. So what we have to remember that the company is really brand new. They've only started operating internationally in April. And although that's the case, everything that they are going to be doing and everything that they're doing right now is to prepare for the big celebration that is going to happen in, in September. To all officially celebrating the, the launch of the KO office and of course all the releases and updates. So that's going to be this big event for 10,000 people happening in September. And Ronald stresses the importance of utility. He was actually something that you will not hear from many other wallet providers of, of this sort. Ronald actually during the meeting that we had in Kuala Lumpur said to us, guys, we want you to be spending those tokens. We're going to create as many things as we can in order to allow you to spend those tokens and not just inside of the ecosystem, but also the outside. So that's why we've got solutions like the card, like the prepaid card that is going to be released in August. So Ronald already said that they've got the API and right now they're working on connecting the API with their system. And that's going to be released in August. Then, again, Cloud Token is not a um, authenticated network. So they already have a third-party company that will be handling all the KYCs. And by August, everybody will be able to go through the KYC process in order to apply for the prepaid card. And you're going to receive it at some point in August. The cards will be distributed based on the leadership rank that you've achieved. So C5, C4, C3, C, C2, C1, etc. They were gonna get. They're gonna get their cards first, and then depending on how many they've got left, uh, they're gonna distribute those cards out to C zeros. If they run out of that first batch, uh, others will be receiving virtual cards for the time being. Of course, later on, everybody will have access to the to an actual card. Now, once so that's about the cards. So that's going to happen again. KYC before August, that's what they're planning to do. Cards should be going out in August. Of course, because they have to be delivered to your personal address, um, they, you're going to receive them by post. Now, once you've done that, once you've done your KYC, immediately, the moment you've done your KYC with a third-party company, you will receive, inside of your app, you will, sh you will see that you are now eligible to attend the event in Kuala Lumpur, the big celebration event that's gonna happen in September. Only the people, according to Ronald, that's what he said uh, recently, only the people that do the KYC are invited to that event. So it's very important that um, immediately you proceed and you can do that. What's also very good, these guys are planning to already have the app updated to the level in August that will allow you to use your tokens in order to purchase your flight tickets, your hotel plus uh, pay for the event tickets using your CTOs. And of course, Ronald already also confirmed that they are working actively with the provider of um, travel services. The provider, the same provider that, provide, that provided services to companies like Expedia, Ctrip, or Agora. And they're going to be receiving between 5 and 40% discounts on those services from that service provider. Now, look at it, look at it this way. If the company is receiving, let's say you booked a hotel, the company is able to, to, to receive 20% discount on a hotel. They're going to give you only between 8 and 10, because that, that's just how it's going to be. And the rest of it, all the rest of the, of the profit margin is going to go back into the reserve pool. And every single time when you're spending your, you're spending your CTO is using the prepaid card, or you're booking your travel using, using the app, because that's going to be available from inside the app you're actually generating additional revenue that's going back into the reserve pool and that's helping for the price of the CTO to remain or, or potentially actually even go up. 
So all those activities, every time when utility is created, you're, con you're moving your CTO back to the company, because that, that's also very important. CTO, it's being continuously recycled. It's either with the company or it's with members. If it's not with members, it's with the company. So there's only going to be 1 billion CTO ever released. Right now, this, not all the CTO is out just yet because we are brand new. And every single time when the script identifies that someone is entitled to receive CTO, new CTO is being produced. Eventually, we're going to get to 1 billion, but they will always be in that circle. If you're spending your card, you're giving your CTO back to the company, you're receiving product. If the wallet identifies that you need some CTO because you've got the deposit, they're trading with it, the CTO is coming back to you. So that's forever going to be that rotation, guys. That's how they create that utility. And the smaller the number of CTOs with the members, of course, that has an immediate positive impact on the price of the CTO. So all that additional revenue that is coming in from travel services, from use, using a card, of course, they are in the process of also obtaining a license. I'm going to talk about this licensing because that's um, as quite, a, quite, a, quite, a, quite a few of those, the, the additional things that the company is doing. But guys, this is not just a little wallet that allows you to deposit your money, the company trades with it, you convert your tokens, you take Ethereum or Bitcoin out and, and job done. This company, every single time when you speak to Ronald, he, he states that they want to become a WeChat and PayPal of, of, of the cryptocurrency world. And you can see that this is happening. They've got these big partnerships that are coming up on a continuous basis that they're working very hard on. And we've seen the effect, we've seen the impact of those. So, guys, so that's to do with uh, this now. Private keys. That's a big one. Of course, we're waiting for it. We're eagerly waiting for it. So, from the event, Ronald confirmed that the private keys will be released in July. He said the 15th, but that is still to some degree dependent on us. So there are two things that are happening right now that are kind of clogging up that release of the private keys. We still have members who are um, missing their CTO rewards. If you happen to be the person or you know somebody who's, who actually misses their CTO rewards, you have to let us know. And I will drop an email in a second to which you just, just send us an email. So contact at cloudtokendiamondteam.com. Provide us with your login ID and provide us with the date for which you're missing the CTO. And um, we are actually in the process of negotiating with the company the deadline. By that time, we need to know about any potentially missing CTO. What, if they don't resolve it by then, you potentially are not going to get it back. So we're not, you're not going to have that backdated. So there's got... The, the quicker we can go through it, the quicker they will release a major performance update, and then they're gonna, they're gonna, that's gonna then, and then we're gonna get the private keys. But again, that's gonna happen in July. They've got a very, very packed development update and development schedule for July and August. Incredibly, incredibly packed, guys. Just Ronald just kept on throwing those stuff, that stuff at us, and um, it was really, really impressive. Now, you've seen the videos about the trading, guys. The company has right now. So they are trading predominantly on Binance because people are asking, and Mateusz mentioned it uh, just, just a few minutes ago, people are asking how are the funds being protected? The company, is, the company has selected initially 38 exchanges. Six of them, they already said no to because they don't feel that they are, that they are protected enough. You've seen very recently that Binance got hacked and millions worth of Bitcoins got stolen from Binance yet it did not affect the Binance in any way. Probably Binance right now is even safer than ever before. Their credibility is probably greater than ever before because they have proven to the crypto community that they can survive it and the, the method to secure that uh, missing, missing funds is actually working. That's why the company, 40% of all the funds that the, company, that the company has, that the company have collected, is actually from the, um, is actually being used to trade on the Binance exchange. They have five, five accounts on a Binance. Three of them have the highest VIP level when it comes to the trading volume. Guys, you've seen, hopefully you've seen the videos that we have on YouTube. Three of them, so, and we actually, we've seen the smallest one, which is level seven right now. Ronald said that this week is going to be level 10 as well. And that one has over $150 million worth of funds. 
They've traded in the last 30 days um, of 110,000 Bitcoins inside of that one small account. If somebody's going to say that the company isn't trading and they haven't provided the information, clearly they haven't seen any of the videos. Guys, that was, the, my, was my very first time when I've actually met Ronald and I needed to see that, to see that for myself. Because, of course, videos is like you're thinking, okay, he logged in in front of us to the system. We've seen the trades, we've seen Binance accounts, and that, there's absolutely no discussion whether that has happened at all, uh, whether that, that is happening or, or not. Okay, now, so you know about the trips, you know about the ability of actually us being able to book hotels, uh, flights, accommodation, travel through the app. That is coming, that is coming in August. Um, and again, that's gonna be helping with the price of the CTO. Now, a very cool thing, we like some of the technical stuff as well. Guys, the company at some point has been receiving 3,000 emails per day. So in case you wonder why they haven't responded, that's, that's kind of the reason. They just could not handle the load. So what they are working on instead is uh, a reporting functionality. Basically, inside of your app, you'll be able to report what is happening. If you feel that the performance section that is not updating your team volume correctly, um, it's, there's something wrong with that. There's going to be a, there's going to be a, a feedback section that you're going to self-execute. The support will not even be helping you. They, they're going to have an automated system inside of an app that the moment you report an issue and, and provide your login ID, the script will automatically execute, will scan the balance of your wallet, will see what's missing, what's wrong, and it will fix it or correct the issue. So there's going to be between four to six different things that you can fix yourself, basically, without even involving the support. That is coming again. That's something that the company wants to resolve. Uh, this quarter wants to introduce this quarter. We're, kind of tr we're trying to be a little bit careful when it, comes to, when it comes to actually committing to any, or the company committing to any deadlines, because you know how it is, that they're handling with a lot of things right now, and they really want to get a lot of the things ticked off the list uh, before, that before that September event. But guys, this is, this is absolutely packed. So again, private keys this month, help us out a little bit with that. If there is anybody with, with any sort of issues, report them to us so we can get that pushed. KYC for the event, that's going to be again released towards the end of July. Be sure that you jump on it. Be sure that you finish your, your KYC so that you are then becoming eligible to attend the event. Once that happens, then they'll release an app. Um, they will release that additional feature inside of an app, allowing you to book the event, to, uh, to the trip to the event. So it's all coming together. It's all chained like that in a kind of a logical order when it comes to those releases. Now, if somebody's interested in the blockchain itself and the code itself, right now it's a closed code. So the company isn't providing the aura technology uh, blockchain to anybody. But I asked the question and Ronald confirmed that the, this technology will be actually open sourced and everybody will be able to use it very soon at some point this year. So that's another big statement. Um, now, this is a big one. Mateusz, you've, you've asked uh, to, to also provide some information about the OTC. So that's, I've actually posted uh, a link inside of the Telegram, guys, so you can read what the OTC means. It's an off-exchange off type of a trade, where between two parties or however many parties you provide, you, you do a transaction. You transact one asset, one financial asset to another. You convert one financial asset to another. So the company right now is working on an ISO 27001 certificate. Again, technicalities, but I need to give it to you because you might be interested. Then they're working on the FSL license in Australia. Once they have that, they're going to apply for the CESAR certificate. Uh, and that will allow them to operate as an OTC exchange. Once they have that, they will be able to have a bank account in Philippines and that would then allow them to do crypto to fiat transactions. So that's why it has that chronological order again. There are certain events that have, that have to take place. Guys, just, just pay attention that these guys know what they're doing. They've got lawyers in Australia that are continuously providing feedback on what's going on, on the changes what they need to do, what they need to introduce in order to stay compliant, in order for us uh, to be able to, to continue operating. So guys, these guys are, are really very serious. They're working on an MLM license in Australia. They're working on an asset management license in Australia as well. Once those are done, they will then expand to international markets and also have licenses there. So that's for the, AVA, for the OTC. 
Oh, that's one. Because there was, an, there was a, a report uh, a few days ago inside of the Telegram. Guys, the company discourages anybody from um, selling their CTOs. Uh, because we've seen issues where somebody sold their tokens to somebody else, then the person blocked that person and never saw the money. So if you are doing those sort of deals, that you're taking full responsibility. Neither the company nor us, we, we cannot be, yeah, we cannot be held liable. That, that's your own deal. We're not, the com CTOs can only be received as a reward. So we're not supposed to be selling. We're not supposed to be trading them with each other because, because of that factor, because of the trust factor. You need to trust somebody that they're going to pay you the money if, if, if you're going to give them the tokens. So guys, that's, I believe, uh, not me. Paul, is there anything else? That, uh, um, after, do we mention the App Store? Oh, gosh. Like, it's like the biggest thing, right? <laughs> yeah, think of the App Store, guys, right? What's, what's, what's very important, if we went to the event and got even more, this update, we all know how hard it is to get on the App Store. People have to start questioning our application, comparing us to all the other apps. Well, guys, one thing about the App Store is this. It's hard enough to get on the App Store for any, any company with KYC, or what you have to produce to them. Never mind, say, you're a multi-level marketing company. Then add one step to that, saying you're doing cryptocurrency. It's impossible to get on there. Guys, we're on there. We're the only app uh, that's on there. There's no one else doing what we do that's on the App Store. So if that can solidify to you what we're doing and where we're going, it's for me, it was the best update of the whole, um, whole weekend. After gave me absolutely fantastic updates there. Matthias covered also the start with, their, with them, the reserve fund, comparing us to other projects. Guys, one thing I'll say, and I'll touch on what Arthur just said there as well, and what Ronald is saying more and more, like we're just not another project and we're not creating just another application. Ronald I's end goal is this. They create something like WeChat Pay and PayPal together, okay? So to bring, to be the first project in the world to bring fiat currency with cryptocurrency and make it work. So like, guys, and he doesn't want to just be like them. He wants to be better than them. So guys, when you go to Spain on holidays, when you go up to Thailand or China, in your application, you can do everything. It's a one-stop shop for everything, creating our own bank. So guys, it's really a project that, like, in my 11 years, uh, we've been involved in some fantastic opportunities. A lot of us on this call have been together over the past few years. But guys, I will say this, and this is not, this is not sales talk. This is just saying what I believe at this moment. I believe this is the... Um, the best project we got involved in to date. And I, I say that with a compliment to other projects, okay? Uh, because we got involved in this project, myself and Matthias. We've learned from previous projects. Uh, we had some great experiences. We also had some difficult times, but it brought us to this moment, you know? So we're very fortunate, guys, just coming back from the leadership call. And as after just covered everything, they hit everything in so good detail. But like, when we asked Ronald I to open the computer, and show us the trading. Everybody was scrambling, pushing each other out of the way, trying to get videos. It was crazy. He showed us 13,000 Bitcoins in his Binance account, opened the bots, showed us the trading. Guys, the transparency is here. You know, I've never seen it to this date. So guys, um, it's been an amazing opportunity. And one thing I want to do after, Matthias, if you, um, there's a gentleman going to come on a call here, right? And what we'd like to do is bring in someone different, okay? This man, has been in the industry over 25 years. He carries the wealth and knowledge. He's been through the journeys. He's been through the highs. He's been through the lows. He's built three different organizations with over 200,000 people. Uh, himself and his business partners are probably two, one of the most renowned names in the industry. Pay attention to this gentleman, guys. See what he has to say about this project. And just before he speaks, I won't say about his previous project, what he was doing, but I do know he was master distributor. And when he saw this project, he can tell you why he thinks it is from the start to where it is now. Over to you, Joe. Hey guys, can you hear me okay? Perfect. Awesome, awesome, thanks, uh, Paul. Arthur, great job. I, uh, I, I, got, I, I finally got to meet you uh, in, in Malaysia, that was awesome. Um, yeah, you're a great leader. But yeah, I mean, for me, it was pretty simple. I mean, uh, we, we got the call from Paul. 
Paul and Matthias. Matthias and Paul have done a lot of their research. I trusted him 100% before we even went to Malaysia. And the cool thing about this, and I, and I told this to, to a lot of my people, the biggest thing for me is understanding how these wallets work. I'm, I'm not a crypto savvy person. I do understand some of it, but I, I did not understand how trading worked until Matthias showed us on the whiteboard. He's going to put something together for us this Friday. That right there, for me to understand it, if anybody understand what I understand here, you guys know this is the real deal. Meaning Ronald was awesome. I mean, he's down to earth. He, he tells it how it is. Um, Arthur asked him a, a ton of questions. A lot of the updates that you guys are hearing about uh, about what's going on today is Arthur put put together these questions. We asked a few questions, and and it was quite amazing. But for me, the, this is the thing. You guys have to understand something. There's there's certain market shifts that happen. There, you know, like when the videos uh, in North America, we used to have a, a a store called Blockbusters. Blockbusters no longer exist because of Netflix. Things change. There, there's a paradigm shift in a lot of these industries. We are in one right now. The cryptocurrency arena, it's been it's been very shady when it, you know, in the past with some of these programs, some of these Ponzi's. But you know, one of the things that Ronald mentioned, the very first thing when Paul asked him, I believe Paul or Mateus asked him, "What is it? Uh, how did you get started with this?" And first thing Ronald said was this. He goes, there's so much um, garbage or so much, um, uh, you know, really bad business out there when it comes to crypto. We wanted to do something that was real for the people. And when I, when you understand what, where he's coming from, when, when, talk, when people talk about transparency, most companies don't have this transparency, especially when it comes to trading. This guy showed us everything that what they're doing, how they're doing it, the, the future of it, is everything perfect right now? No, it's not, but you know what? It's as good as it, it it's, it's gonna get better and better, but it, it is working the way it's supposed to work and it's, it's only gonna get better. I've done, you know, I've been in this industry for a long time and you know, I'm really excited because we're finally ahead of something that's gonna be massive. I mean, when you've got guys like Paul and Mateus uh, earning, uh, I don't know if you guys want me to mention this on the call, and I won't because you, you guys probably know of talking to them one on one. Uh, it, 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 it's something that you don't see every day. I mean, this is this is kind of income people earn every every month. You know, big big network marketers. These guys are doing it on a daily basis because we're part of a major shift in in the marketplace. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm excited. Like I said, um, you guys will be in for a treat once you understand. What I understand, I know that when Mateus explained that to me on Friday, or explained that to the to the group on Friday, I was I was I was blown away. I was like, this is this is really a game changer for all of us, and that's why those guys have the confidence. And the other thing I'm going to mention is I met a lot of leaders, including Arthur, Simon, a lot of them, and they're 100% fully committed because they understand what they have here. Now I fully fully understand and. And I was 100% committed, but I'm 150% committed for such thing. But it, it's quite awesome. Thanks for having me on the call, you guys. I, uh, I, I wish everybody uh, much success. And this, this is just the beginning. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I put it back over to you, Matthias, and uh, after. So I've got just two more things, guys, because uh, that's something that's, yes, Paul mentioned, of course, the App Store. That, that, that's absolutely huge. Guys, again, Apple does not just approve companies or wallets like that. When it comes to the approval process, it's very, very strict. Now, when it comes to the application itself, even now, providing that you have your access details, be sure that you install your application directly from the App Store. That's gonna fix some potential issues and improve the performance. Now, guys, the numbers, because you need to know the numbers because it's absolutely insane. We found out about this opportunity mid-April. They have only launched internationally on the 12th of May in Bangkok. Guys, it has not been two months since, since the official launch in, Bang in, in Bangkok. Now, as of the 28th of June, so nearly a week ago, the global number of accounts right now is 399,116 global number of accounts. And unique number of users, unique number of members, 169,285. Guys, 12th of May international launch. This is, I, in my 12 years online, I've done other things before, before this sort of network marketing opportunities. I've never seen anything growing more rapidly. I've never seen 
a greater congestion or saturation of absolutely absolute titans of this industry global leaders that are now coming together to work together on this opportunity can i it, it, it's absolutely crazy and you can hear from paul and mateus to some of the private meetings that these guys are having on continuous basis as if you could, if you could just maybe drop a, a little bit on that i know that those are really really private but uh, just to give people an idea on just the magnitude of what we have in front of us <clears throat> what we should uh, say <laughs> I know people. I know people in this business. They're making very good money. I can tell you. Uh, I <laughs> Don't say the figure what we're making. There's too many I'm people saying, that we can <laughs> I know people. What they mean. The Chinese guy is making some days uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars a day. There are some people making fifty thousand dollars a day. There are some people making twenty five thousand dollars a day, ten thousand dollars, and there is uh, a lot of. A lot of people, great leaders, after I can see, because I'm a figure man, so I, for me, the comp plan is like, okay, I break, uh, make the, uh, I analyze the comp plan and I want to maximize for myself, and I, I know what I need to do to start making, for example, 1,000 a day, 2,000 a day, or something like that. So, I love the numbers. And I, when I see some good leaders, very good leaders, they, after 60 days, not even 60 days, 40 days, one month, they make it $3,000 a day, that's hundred thousand dollars a month. So, so this is, this is. I, I can tell you from my point of view, this is the most easy business what I've seen in the past in, in my history of uh, multi-level marketing uh, company. Uh, the growth is fantastic. Everybody loves this app. Everybody loves uh, to making money daily. That's number one. Um, everybody wants to when they kind of invest money. Um, they want safe investment. So if you want to have safe investment, the investment, the, the company where you put your money, if it's deposit or investment or you, uh, you're buying something, you should receive something from this, should be the most transparent, okay? Well, I don't know what can be more transparent with this company. If we are already on blockchain, you can see all the transactions and what is not on blockchain, the, where they trading. Okay, that's not, not on blockchain. But then we've been, uh, we've been a few days ago in Kuala Lumpur and we can see in trading in one account on, only, I'm saying, only 13,000 BTC. That's uh, 100, $150 million, you know? And I can tell you there is less deposits in the, in the company than uh, 150 million. There's about 120, 130 million deposits. The company has in the jar is pulled more money than people even put in there. Okay, and separate to this is the, the global, the, the pool of uh, reserve pool of uh, CTO. So this is something like we've got the transparency in this. We've got multi-level marketing, affiliate uh, compensation plan. Um, everything is transparent, very safe. So if somebody, if somebody cannot make money in this business, I'm sorry to say, but he should come back to full-time job and never try multi-level marketing because that person will never be successful because this is the most easy business on the planet. If we're talking about sharing the opportunity, sponsoring, I'm not saying that everybody uh, will be making $50,000 or $100,000 a, uh, a month or a day, but at least you can show the opportunity to 10 people, three people, five people, even to two people, okay? Those two people, they can share also with somebody else, okay? Share the opportunity because the bigger, bigger community we will have, they will be stronger as the company, as the community, and, and CloudTalker will go in the price more because more people will be using the ecosystem. There will be more, more money coming uh, to the reserve pool and the, the price will grow up. And everybody, of course, we want the price to grow up. Um, there will be a lot of people in the future they will be using only the wallet. They won't participate in Jarvis or other projects, but that's good. That's good. We want our, our, uh, our wallet to be used by millions and millions of people because the more people we have, then it's better for us because the bigger community and the price, of course, will be bigger. So that's it from me. Paul, you want to add something at the end? 
No, I, thanks for that. Thanks, actor. Thanks, Matthias. No, I think we covered everything. I've got three more things, guys. Like <laughs> the notes. <laughs> last, last three more things. If I forgot something else, you will get it. We'll My get it staffs will be here to, to tomorrow. Go after. Go no. I, I, no, guys, for me, before I have to go, it's not less than um, the lads covered a lot there. Uh, so uh, it's just a privilege to be involved in the project at this time. And uh, I'm going to put off after now. After, so say your things and we can wrap up then. Yes. Guys, because there that, that, that is one more big element of transparency. Of course, we, we, we know exactly how it works. We know that we are depositing money into the wallet, then we're sending money into their uh, trading, trading pool, and they're trading with that money. And then we are, we're receiving rewards on a daily basis. So, of course, private keys are important to protect our CTO tokens that we're receiving from the company that they're going to be provided in July. Now, some people are asking, what about the reserve pool? Where can we see that? Where can we see the amount? The company is working right now with a third party company where Ronald called it Ledger. We're just checking the name and the website just to be sure that we have that provider 100% right. But we will be able to click on the link and we will see the balance of the reserve pool. So that's the profit from trading. That's another absolutely huge element of, of the transparency. And of course, we will not see the full address because that was the big concern of the company. They didn't want to provide the full address of where the funds are because the hackers will be just trying to, 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 just, yeah, to break into that straight away. So with this third party provider, they will be able to mask the middle section of the address and we will see the front of it, we will see the back end of it. You can just click on it and see the balance of the reserve. Now, Jarvis, because that's a big question people are asking, when is it gonna be full? Can we still participate? Can we still receive those daily rewards from Jarvis? The company said that they are 55% full right now. They've made recalculations. So there is still, play, there is still play, space. If you're watching this, you're not part of the, of the cloud token just yet, do sign up. The, the, the growth right now, we are like that. It's parabolic. So be, do not wait because once they close the door for, for the Jarvis AI project, those daily rewards will stop until the new project starts. It will start, but it could be a little bit of a gap. Now, they're going to have a countdown on the website. The website soon will be showing the numbers of how many more spaces they have for the Jarvis. So you'll be able to see it there directly. Also, because of the company right now, it's mostly technical stuff. They don't do a lot of marketing because they're simply lacking people. They, they, they did not anticipate that the growth is going to be like that. But they're working on materials. So everything will be pro provided directly from their website. We'll be able to download it. They had uh, an audit done. They've got 16 pages of different things, little things that they need to correct, the language that we use when we describe it, that we need to correct, they need to correct. Guys, I've got nothing more to say. We've, we've skipped all the wallet type of a projects before because they, could not have, they couldn't prove in any way to us that they were genuine opportunities. I don't know what else you can ask for when it comes to a business like that of this sort that it's only been out there globally for just shy of two months. It's absolutely incredible what we have in front of us. Do not wait another second before getting serious about it. Because I do not know any other opportunity that captures simplicity, captures the greatest global trends that we have right now, which is blockchain and the crypto cryptocurrency market, and can provide you with such an incredible, it's called speed of money factor, the speed of money. If you do traditional, this sort of business, it's going to take you 10 or 20 times longer to create that kind of income that you can create inside of this opportunity. Uh, thanks, Arthur. Guys, I think everyone can see on the call, that was absolutely fantastic. Uh, at the weekend, guys, in the leadership event, as Joe said as well, like Arthur was absolutely brilliant. You know, we all know he's very technical and he's very attention to detail. And he did bring out the best in Ronald for his questions. So for myself and Matthias, I want to thank you, Arthur, because it was brilliant for all the leaders. We all said it. Uh, and again, on this call tonight, guys, you can see what he's doing. And also, guys, as you can see, he's been the guy looking after the YouTube channel for myself and Matthias. He's also the guy in the Telegram group as the admin. So he's working on both sides for all of us, for the community, guys. So it's a big thank you. We're so happy to have him on board working. And guys, he's also building a big, huge team. So it's great, you know. So with that, guys, I want to thank everybody for coming on the call. It's the start of a journey. You're going to see lots of more webinars from all of us, guys. You're going to see different nationalities, 
please reach out to us if you want to do one. We're going to up the campaign from here on in now. We had a busy few weeks with me and Matthias. We're just back from our second Asian tour, and we'll be doing another one again in the next few weeks. With that, guys, exciting times. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. See you. See you. See you. C5. C99. There's a new C coming out. 99. See you on the